Yes, baby. Yep. Welcome back. Hey guys. Uh oh. Damn it. Hey guys. <laughs> I gotta stop it. doing that, man. It's hard not to because you're just looking at a lens. You don't, you right. know. What's up? Hey, fans. <laughs> Hello, everyone in Hello, the world. Hello, followers. <laughs> I've been saying that on my Instagram, by the way. What's up, followers? Hey, followers. Uh, welcome back to the Lions Den. We're here again for another bonus episode. Uh, make sure you rate review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, leave a glowing review, if you will, please. Also, subscribe to us on both Apple Podcasts and anywhere you get podcasts, as well as YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube and also uh, go to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash the Lions Den pod. Become a member of our Lions Pride. There are three different levels. Will can tell you what they are later. Don't cut me off or I'll come over there and knock all your teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a dad in the 50s? <laughs> you cut me off, son. I'm sorry. I was getting distracted because Will keeps looking around like nothing's recording. I know, <laughs> right? I uh, there's like... just a buzz and I don't know what it is. Is there anything uh, new? Is it this? Is there anything new plugged in? Is it this? Is the TV? Uh, it feels like something new is plugged in. Did you, did you unplug the, the monitor? I didn't touch that. No. Maybe it's that. Is the monitor plugged in? I don't know. Brent, is it plugged in? The monitor isn't yeah. plugged into that, but it's plugged into the power surge there. Yeah, that's what it is. Want to try that? Maybe. So what the fuck does that mean when we start having guests? By the way, just for a little behind the scenes, we're working on uh, three idiots trying to set up a way yeah. to talk to people on a, on a TV for Zoom for guests. We're going to have some guests in the future during oh, this uh, quarantine pandemic. I haven't worn headphones in, gosh, Ow. decades. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I just hear a little bit of a buzz. Quiet. Now. Everyone, please. Nope, you're good. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me, little you hear that though, right? legs. I do hear a slight thing, but and maybe it's maybe because it's I'm just because I was thinking about it. Or maybe that's just how it always is, and I'm going crazy. That could I be. I don't it. know. Like that it's it. It is that feels... always plugged in. What this? Yeah. yeah, that's the headphones. I'm trying to look around to see like if there's anything new that's plugged in, but I don't think there's anything. Maybe it's just how it always is, and I'm just more sensitive to it right now. For some yeah, reason. you're a sensey, sensey bear. You're a little sensey bear boy. Uh, Jason, I think it's okay. Fire with his intro too. Yeah. I know. I it's shouldn't like want to so lose professional. it. so professional. Are we going to do it again? You didn't lose focus. No, you, you said no. everything except uh, we'll do it the again. Patreon no, okay. thing. No, I did say the Patreon thing. We could do it again. I mean, whatever. I like it this way. I like the dirt. Because you nailed that stuff. That you were focused. You were like a pitcher. Oh, know? yo. He was dealing with stuff. I'm, I was here, lost through look, him. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah. All right? I'm a professional, and I take pride in everything that I do. Yeah. Everything. Something that you could take uh, a lesson to, of. of. Damn it. Oh, you almost had me. <laughs> yeah, I almost had that's you. That's why one of the other um, reasons we call the lines, then we take pride in what we yeah. do, and that's what you got to do, too, to be right. part of the pride. That's yes. right. Got him. Um, nice. Way to bring it all so together. So, yeah, I think you hit everything. Uh, rating reviewing is still really important. He was hey, on Patreon. I said that. Yep. I'm you're just on. recapping just to make sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Patreon. I think you're, you know what I think you're trying to do? Here's what I think Will's trying to do. You're trying to get screen time. Nope. Mm -hmm. That's what you're trying to do. You're like, you know what? I'm in a quarantine. I'm lonely. My little mm -hmm. sucky thing needs some attention. <laughs> and I'm trying to get as much screen time as I possibly can. No. Let me just repeat what Jason said. Right, That's fine. like a Let's flight fly. attendant. Fine. That's like a flight attendant repeating what the pilot says. <laughs> when the pilot comes on and says, hey, guys, we're cruising at 35,000 feet. We'll be in L.A. in about 20 minutes. Please refresh your seatbelts. Return seat to the upright position. And that girl comes on and goes, well, the pilot just fucking sad. And we're trying to see to the... <laughs> That's what you're doing, dude. Did you say the links of where, oh, where the Patreon is? Quiet the fuck up. Quiet the fuck up. I said... You're annoyed uh, with me today. It's, that ben, it's that Ben I'm Affleck you know what it comment is. It's he that, got. It's that hair. It's, it's that Ben hair. Affleck shit he got last week. He's coming in hot. I told... What did I say he was? Ben Affleck? <laughs> I funny. burned you, dude. Uh, no, I, th I think I got it. I just want to make sure like the links of where to go. Like Patreon.com Patreon slash, slash the, the Lions Den Pod. Yep. I think I did say that. May as well say it again. Can't hurt. When you... Mm, See, so mad at me today. Mm. Everybody relax. Everybody take a nice little commie pill. It's also so me hot will, already. Me, me and Will on the road, I pull over and just get the fuck out of here. Remember when I almost ran out of gas in Arizona when it was oh, 120 degrees? We were so <laughs> Dude, in the middle of the we, I had a, We had a gig in Arizona, and it was 175 degrees, and we're in Death Valley, and he goes, I think we're going to make it. Well, I was angry as a dad because I'm like, why didn't you get gas before you left? Yeah. I, and then you're like, I, I th we Barely. pretty much just rolled into a gas station. Oh, I just, co I was on the freeway going like 33. <laughs> just, oh, oh no gas. Just, and you were, and it was like, oh, let's turn off the AC to preserve gas. And we turned mm -hmm. it off and it was like, <gasps> oh, and then so had to turn hot. it back on. 
Oh, that would have been terrible. It is scary, man. That drive to Arizona d- during the summer is terrifying. Was, if you run out of gas, you you're like, I, oh, I guess that's it. You know? Yeah, if you don't have air conditioning, it's in the car driving. It's insane. Yeah. it's in, if, you, if you're driving and you put your hand on the window, it's, and it's, it's hot to the touch. Yeah. yeah. You're like, we can't run out of gas. But the funny thing is, is who? Oh, man. Who would set off on a drive <laughs> across the desert? With a half a tank of gas. I'll tell you who. Little sorority girl I know named Will Burkhart. <laughs> was the plan to f- like go halfway, fill up, and then Something keep going? Something like that. It was like, oh, I'll, I'll get it on the way. It was kind of one of those diesel, things. Yours is a diesel, though, right? Yeah, it's so got it has good gas mileage. Good mileage. But it was one of those things that was like, oh, there's no there, <sighs> it was like, there's no gas stations for like We're both yeah, all along. We're both yeah. looking at our maps going, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> I was just like counting down the how long it's going to take. I mean, it was. So that wow, was a dude. fun. Was that the same trip where you had to rip a piece of your bumper off? Oh, yeah. And I hit something. It tore my under. All we hear is while we're driving. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? And something ripped the, uh, the undercarriage, the protector. Oh. And it was just pull it back. So I got a great picture of Will like ripping it off, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll find that picture." Yeah, yeah. Anyways, he probably hit one of those armadillos or something. That was my first guess. Your first armadillo? No, not a tire. Yeah, just a fucking armadillo. We're like, what? Tumbleweed? What? A fucking armed rodent? An armed rodent? Yes, that's what they are. That's an armed rodent. They're the knights of the rodent world. And he's just like, oh, you're not going to find gas stations for a while. <laughs> a little armadillo. <laughs> Your armadillo talks. How you guys doing? Yeah. How you guys holding up? Will, um, Will's getting right. testier and testier, I've noticed. Uh, I'm okay. I, I, I do miss people. Some of these Zoom conversations with my cousins and, right. and family and then uh, with us and yeah. comedy friends is like, it's actually really fucking great and nice. But then once you hang up, you're like... You're just by your well. I'm by myself again, and I start going, "Fuck! I actually miss people," and that's rare because I hate people. So it's like, <laughs> I do for the most part. So I'm like, that, that's why we like each other so much. We have that in common. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's kind of like I think this in a glass half full way. The uh, this whole quarantine is going to help me, like, try to get a relationship, help me communicate yeah. with my friends more that I just disappear from. Like, I'm hoping that there's. I'm trying to think of positive shit from this. Right. You know, that's kind of the hope. I watched it uh, back to my old ways. In one night, I binged the second season of Surviving R. Kelly. And I still I, never saw immediately, that. I felt bad because we named one of our. Because they did that whole hashtag mute, mute R. Kelly. Fuck it. And we named one of our podcasts, I Believe I Could Fly. Uh, oh, true. shit. I Whoops. forgot about that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Whoops. And he's like in and the I'm news thinking, right now. God, we are <laughs> so fucking We need a publicist. That was the episode we couldn't think of a title. Like I wasn't gonna. Jason's yeah. really good well, at coming up with titles. Idea? Who came up with that idea? I believe I could fly. Oh. It wasn't me. Was it? Was it you? <laughs> There's no it way it was you. you. Was it? But then I went. Yep, that's it. Good yeah, job, you. Will. Yeah. So it's Jason's good at fucking titles. So I, I was just like, Will sent me a few options, and I was like, Yeah, those are nice. I go, and then we put it in the group, and I was like, Jay, you're good at that. Yeah. You just figure out a fucking title. And then I saw it. I believe I can fly. I ah, went, oh, that's good. That's a good yeah, title. I that. thought the same thing when yeah. Will thought of it. Totally forgetting that but he's not I'm... only R. Kelly from the past. He's R. Kelly present oh, day. now R. Kelly. <laughs> and we're all on the podcast going, I believe yeah, I, I know, can I fly. Know. Really just all the things. <laughs> we didn't even think. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even cross my mind. Oh, that oh well. fucking podcast. Have you ever, not podcast, that series. Have you, ever, have you guys no. watched either no. one of them? No. Uh-uh. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty fucking What's it on? heavy. It's on Netflix. Oh, really? Yep. Surviving R. Kelly Part Two, uh, the uh, Tiger King edition. Tiger King edition. I'm R. Kelly. I'm all fuck this. <laughs> fuck me, no. I, <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I'm all fuck this tiger. He's only fourteen. <laughs> oh, no. There was an extra episode of Tiger King, by the way. Yeah, Joe McHale it. hosted it from home. Really? Yeah. I heard it wasn't good. It's, all right. Yeah. It's just a recap of some shit in the interview. Oh, okay. They interviewed the people that were on it. Huh. But yeah, that R. Kelly thing was fucking... I gotta watch. I'm gonna watch that. I, I, He's so things. fucking dumb. Gonna say it. I didn't know he was... That a, I didn't know he was a yeah. dumb man. I didn't know he was illiterate. Well, I knew he couldn't read or write. I, I, I remember hearing that. But one of the things that he did to one of the victims to keep her from coming forward about him having sex with her is he said, this is the dumbest shit. I'm gonna release the sex tapes that I have of you. You mean... Sex tapes you have of us having sex. <laughs> yeah, oh. that you're in. That you're in. <laughs> and that's a really close to another word, urine. 
Oh, hey, oh. that works. That works. Oh. But yeah, they covered a lot of stuff on there. They talked about how uh, there are certain things that shouldn't be uh, be a joke, and that's one thing that I disagree with as a comedian. We can we can fuck around with all of it, but mm-hmm. they showed clips of the Chappelle show episode mm-hmm. where he did the "I want to pee on you" video. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what I started doing? Watch hysterically you. laughing oh because yeah. i'm sorry that shit is funny <laughs> wait did they put it in the show like this yeah. isn't funny or they put it they in- they were talking about how people were making jokes about it because they're saying like people were joking about it for years but no one was doing anything about it oh uh. but like oh, as comedians yeah. not our job they showed a clip of bill bellamy talking about it on stage that's he he's doing his job yeah 100 percent. he's doing his job he's bringing attention to it it's law enforcement's turn to now do their job and go hey guy Stop peeing on people. What's How that? ironic, I don't know if ironic is the word, but he, guess where he was living in Chicago? Trump Tower. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's connecting, though. Um, <laughs> wasn't there a thing with Chappelle when he did the R. Kelly? I think he said that there's a, like a bunch of the R. Kelly thugs were like, there was a, oh man, by the way, just realized I'm probably making all this up. Wasn't there a thing, though, with Chappelle where when he made fun of R. Kelly, R. Kelly really didn't like it, hated it. Yeah. And he had a bunch of goons that, like, wanted oh, to kill yeah. Chappelle or something like that. And that's see that thing that's that's money. When you got money, and that's one of the things that the girls were a lot of them were afraid to come forward because they're like he's got he's he's got the money and the power yeah. to do things. But guess who else does? Chappelle. I would love to see that battle because I think Chappelle would win. He already did. I mean, he talked about it. he did it. Like when he did it that when mm-hmm. he was talking about it in his, his special that he <laughs> did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe but that's yeah, that, he, that, that, that only part of the that's the only part of the documentary that made me mad. Like, I don't think these guys. If you're going to talk about do something, we are doing something about it. Yeah, we're we're discussing it. We're bringing attention to it in our way. Mm-hmm. Now, hey, police, it's your turn. Yeah. And then there was a whole thing about how the parents were fucking hated on. Like, know where your daughter is. How can uh, you know? Yeah. Which I do understand that in a way, but like, if you don't know that that. If you don't know that this dude is that's what he does, yeah. And your daughter says, "Daddy, I want to be a singer," and all of a sudden, R. Kelly has taken interest in me and wants to produce. Yeah, it's kind of undeniable. It, it is. Yeah. But then here's where it crosses the line for me as a dad, and this is where me and my daughter wouldn't talk for 15 years because I said, "Oh, he wants you to spend the night. You're not fucking going. You're not. Mm. Not only are you not going, I don't ever want you around that man again." Sure. Yeah. I'm thinking he hate you, Dad. I just want to sing. And that's another thing that <laughs> his impression of just, women I is my sing it out. And now you're not letting me fucking be with our Kelly in his house, <laughs> fucking without your him. without contact with you or mom ever. <laughs> that impression, dude. These guys that are looking for their kids, it's fucking crazy. It's like getting them. Uh, what's what is it called when you're when you're uh, de brainwashing somebody to try to get them out of a cult? They have to do that with these kids. These kids are brainwashed and they are in a cult where he is the cult, was the cult leader. Like wow. there there was a whole thing where these two girls that were were in it. They got they befriended him because they wanted a recording career. They wanted to be singers. Oh. Once they got in there with him, he convinced them that that's not what they wanted, and now they're just his girlfriends. And in an interview with Gail, Oprah's yeah. friend, the one where R. Kelly was like. Yep! This shit, man. That, that fucking interview where he was losing yeah. his mind. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that was, was really good. funny. Yeah. Was, and he got up and was throwing us. Dude, she was gangster, by the way. She didn't even flinch. She just went, Robert, nice. sit your dumb ass down. Like, but she didn't say it like that. But she was like, didn't even. Yeah. He like flailed at her. She doesn't talk like it that. Talk, <laughs> it, it, talk, <laughs> it, it was talking to some of the victims yeah. about that when they, 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 she was like, one was like, I couldn't even watch the interview. She goes, if I was Gail, I would have fucking got up and ran. It scared. And when he started wow. screaming and yelling, you're killing me with this shit, man. He, they were like, oh, that's classic him. He makes it about him. Everybody's against him. Oh, wow. You know, everybody's out to get him. And then these two girls are like, yeah, but don't you want, we thought you, your parents were like, you wanted to be singers. And they're like, no, we don't. We don't want to be singers. Oh, we don't wow. want that. That's, that's a lie that our parents said that because blah, blah, blah. We, that's not what we want to do. And then cut to videos of them in singing competitions killing it mm-hmm. being so good at singing but yeah and then he's like you killing me when you do dude that interview <laughs> do that one more time you killing me when you do <laughs> you killing me when you <laughs> I can't understand anything he says by the way <laughs> when P- there's a few there's a few interviews in this show this is great I gotta see this show got this it. shit's got you going I'm some like, of them when they this. when they're talking is some of some of it's 
this it was real quick in one of the episodes like the younger brother of one of the victims started talking and this kid was speaking english but they had to use subtitles still mm. where was he from I, hey the south america some of those some of those they're, places they, uh, it's really they're hard all from chicago yeah. it's all they're all chicago mostly chicago kids yeah, dude know. he would straight hang out at a park that's like the most how, when it, when stereotypical you hear fucking Chicago. How they no, met just... R. Kelly. It should be this. I was at an event in music and R. Kelly was there and we were introduced. That's how it should be. Oh, we were playing in the park and R. Kelly rolled up I in mean, his such car. A, yeah, such a predator oh, thing man. to do. Like, like the what? park. Hey. Wow. What? Yeah. But they're t- they you know, your your brain doesn't stop developing until twenty seven, so you're still Really? Yeah. I thought it was like 20. Mid- no, 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 no. You wish. You're dumb as shit still. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not 27 yet. I got nope. some more time. You're dumb, dumb. You're still dumb, dumb. To you're still, you know what you are? You're right. still a mush brain. Yeah, I wasn't ready, I'm though. I'm I'm like, I wasn't ready for my brain to be done developing. I could have done a lot more before 27. I swear, yeah. mine's going backwards I was like, now. God damn it. What do you I'm mean I'm pushing backwards? 50 and it's going backwards. I'll be having a conversation with somebody and then I'll forget the word for things. Oh, yeah. What yeah. is it called when you do something at the store with money? And then you get the thing for the money. Shopping. Buying it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the word. <laughs> buying it. Buying it. <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm having a stroke right now. He's got that quarantine brain. Oh, quarantine brain. Quarantine. That I got quarantine be belly. Thing, I got my, na- my hello neighbor shirt on today. I got quarantine gut, quarantine brain. I thought you looked thin today. Thanks, man. I've been, uh, been, I'm back went, on intermittent fasting. Yeah, we back quarant- to fasting, right? What quarantine gut? I never understood. You never looked like that. Like, with, you were like, I got quarantine belly or whatever. Well, yes. Yeah, so I mean, barely. Yeah, yeah. Not, we're not much sitting there. in these goddamn buckets. Yeah, seats. it's not why, the most flattering lighting. Brent and I have been having a lot of conversations yes. about how we're sitting because we. Yeah. I'm six. I'm not feet, moving. I'm if six. You notice one. Yeah. yeah. But all of a sudden, in this chair, <laughs> four two. I'm four two. And because I'm in the foreground, I'm six ten. <laughs> And a thousand pounds. So I moved my chair back today. We moved the camera up. We'll figure it out. People. We should, yeah, go to the uh, go to the Patreon and to see the moved. weekly. I just like this right now. Uh, you look like Boris Becker back in the way with that headband on. Who's Boris Becker? He's a tennis player from Boris. Oh, you mean uh, Boris Becker? Becker wasn't his last name, right? Yeah. Boris Bjorg. No, it's, no, that's Bjorn. Bjorg Bjorg Born. It's Bjorg Born, right? <laughs> Shit. It's Bjorn Fjord. Uh, oh. Bjorn Borg. Is it Bjorn Borg? Bjorn Borg was the one that was with, against with McEnroe. McEnroe, Mac- yeah. McEnroe. You knew. Don't sleep on Jimmy Connors. Boris. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Connors, Connors is great. Was the best. Yeah. I love yeah, tennis, that, dude. I miss that, tennis. Is that a basketball thing or a tennis thing right now with you? Well, I don't really play tennis. It was a basketball thing. It's just my. I, I didn't want to wear a hat because of our terrible lighting and shadows, oh, and uh, it's hot as shit. We'll and I haven't it. cut We're my hair, so I figured put the headband on. Yeah. So, We're gonna you get, cut your hair yourself? No, I haven't cut it. Oh, oh, I think you. Have you tried? No. Yeah, I did. God no. I did. Yeah. I got a, I got a out. shave spot right here that it's like super shaved and short. Yeah. And then regular here. So I fucked it up. But you I try to like, cut the back of yours because yeah, your I back just go, is straight. Well, well, you do that like I use from the, the top down. I use the one blade shaver uh, and I go from down really? up to down, up wow. to down, up to down. And That's then impressive. I follow yeah. it around like this. Nice. Follow around like wow. That. I don't around that, yeah. my ear. Bad haircut, though. Uh, shout out to Ohana Barbershop and the LBC. I miss you guys. I'm coming in as soon as this damn thing is over. You're going to line a motherfucker up. There we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not cutting my hair. I'm just going to wear headbands and look odd. Yeah, are you going going whole time? Whole time, no haircut? I mean, there's nowhere to get one, and I'm just kind of, you know, it's not like it's that inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be kind of – I'm having fun with it. Like, oh, let me just see what it looks like, like stupid long. Like, yeah, just because when do we was... ever do that, you know? I know. Mine is kind of longer now. Top. I look more like I was in fucking high school or college with this – with my sides flail up. You know yeah, how yeah. yours curls? Like the, like Jim in the office. Yeah. The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Mine does that. And so I've noticed yeah. it's starting to do that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. how I'm pulling on my shirt and, and moving around oh, a yeah, lot? Dude, the adjustments just... of this – it's just not good. It's called the belly insecurities, man. Well, these chairs – in our defense, are not good for that. You yeah, kind of okay. basically have to. Yeah, lay down. Oh, oh that, my god, good. I hurt my back. Yo, you got you got like those karate, the karate crotch pants on. I know. I'm Just not some high kicks in them bad boys. Are you free balling? Yeah. Because I'm free, free balling. Well, we should mention that uh, while we're recording this. This will come out Friday, but it's Wednesday and it's Earth Day. So happy Earth Day, everybody! Oh. Yeah, happy Earth you Day. Know, on recording something that. that that's something that we've noticed with this this whole quarantine is that Los Angeles actually has mountains and fresh air. Yeah, did you know that? I never knew that. 
Did you know that there are mountains in driving distance from L.A.? Mm. You know that in L.A., if you're listening to this around the world and around the country, we live in a city where you could surf and ski in the same day. Yep. The same day. Get up in the morning, go surf, get in the car, drive up the hill, and do some skiing. It's my, usual day. my usual day. That's what I do every day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do every day. Yep. And then I do a tightrope workout. Nice. You know, the strap. This the, has been only in quarantine, Jason's been like this. This has been a big thing for him. Surfing and skiing and, and a lot of rope work. Yep. Yeah, a lot of rope work. I'm doing a lot of rope. My balance is on point right now, dude. <laughs> nice. I was going to say. Those guys that do the. Is there anything more bitch than falling? When I, was a, when I was a kid, my parents worked at the Renaissance yeah. Fair every year. Yeah. And there was a tight roper. And, I just, and he would try to teach us how. And it was, I was not good at it. I, my legs just start shaking yeah, when I'm on that. there. Yeah. And then you're fucking embarrassed. And you, you look like an a, you look shaking. like an idiot. I'm not. Like, this oh, is I not how I usually am. Oh. Yeah. They All the little did... fair maidens at the Renaissance. Oh my god, look at this shaky little leg. <laughs> they only did that at those like uh, when I was in school. They would take you to this like uh, if you're in fifth grade, it's your last day, so they take you out to this park and make you do outdoor activities. Yeah, yeah. And they would have that little rope that's like two feet off the ground to do your little high wire, and that and then your knees start buckling and shaking, and you just look. Honestly, it's the equivalent of premature ejaculating in front of 10, <laughs> ten girls. Like well, it's, well it's the same one. embarrassment. Well knows where you're one. like, because your legs you can't control, your you, your everything else is vibrating. You have no control over stopping and and lasting longer. And yeah. then all the girls are still looking like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, ah, 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 and then you fall two feet. I off promise the I'm ground. coordinated. Yeah. I promise I'm coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're talked about on the bus like, there he is. That's the guy who's. What's your home workout right now, Richard. little boy? What's uh, your home workout? Right? I, I have these YouTube. This like one YouTube trainer guy that I just I just watch a bunch of his, like three or four of his, and I just in bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just watching this YouTube trainer guy in bed. Oh, I'm not in the actually. Morning. I'm not actually working out. I'm just watching like it was Netflix. <laughs> I was like, oh, good form. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, yeah. The fucking FaceTime angle. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Good, 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 good. What, what, what are you? What are you doing? You're not doing legs, obviously, but what are you doing upper body? All or? right, that's no, offensive, but uh. Yeah, it's a lot of just like it's like a bunch of like variations of push ups and shit because it's all it's like prison workouts. You, there's Bro, no weights; it's diamond? all body weight. Do you do diamond? That's the one I don't. I've done, I've done this one. This one's hard. Yeah, that one's hard. This one's hard. Do or the one the... where you go here and then you go this way, this oh, way, and then back hard. up. Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of those. There's one where you do like a, like a downward dog fucking push up thing. What about the snake where you like snake up and down? Oh, that's just yoga, I think. That's worm. That's the worm, dude. That's just cool. Mm. The over unders. That's what that I gotta is. start working out. Fuck, I'm just walking. It's like good. Yeah, yeah. You said I was like, what did you say? I told you I was, I was oh, getting said, my I'm steps taking, in. You're t- getting your steps in before you come over or shower and come over. I forgot what I said. I said something <laughs> like, like a retired old man in yeah, Florida. Yeah, retired old man yeah. in Florida. <laughs> like getting his steps in for the day. Get my steps I'm in. Loving oh, it's walks. good though. You got to walk. Like that's one thing that uh, is kind of hard to do during this shit where it's, but I look outside and everybody's taking walks and I'm like, yeah. oh yeah. Do you put sunscreen on? Walk. No, not for like, a, I do like an hour walk every day and no sunscreen. Try right. And no hat? Sometimes. Depends how oh, that's like interesting. That. I thought you were just inside. No, I was taking a walk. I, every day I take walks. I have this routine where well, I just I take walks. Like when the sun takes, hits you me. haven't seen his Instagram. He takes walks and talks to the camera and shit. I no, I was thinking. <laughs> I don't look. Boy, at I tell you, cell phones, huh? How'd you know that was the? Oh, fuck, yeah, that's hard for me. I don't do. really look at anything. You just have your will thoughts. It's just. Oh. Well, I gotta get the. There's no sets anymore, so you gotta just no. fucking push shit out there. Now. 2021. That's when we're doing it. That's true. It's actually a good idea. Like it's we like, should still yeah. do an Instagram live at some point. We haven't done that, and everybody else seems to be. Yeah, doing we'll do an Instagram. We should maybe. You know what we should do? Maybe do like a Patreon exclusive. Well, I want to do it for yeah. everybody though. Yeah. Well, the Instagram live. We could do it. We could yeah. do both. Live. We can do both. Yeah. 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 We should. You guys want to talk about? Uh, we talked about on the last Patreon just to get people if they want to look at it because we didn't mention. What did we talk about? The first kisses. Oh I'm yeah. Saying. We uh, talked about our, our our first kiss. Not going to talk about it now because you have to watch the Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, and I, uh, of course said some things that I didn't need to say, yeah. but uh, I'm never going to stop doing that. And if you really want to see it at its worst, then you got to get on the Patreon. But also, just so you know, we do a bonus podcast for the Patreon where we ask ourselves one question and we talk about it for 20 to 30 minutes. Like, mm-hmm. what was your first kiss or what was your worst bomb? And then it kind of, you know, divulges into this cycle and ends where it ends. But uh, so hit we us also, up. yeah, we also want to allow anybody who's a member of the Patreon to send in questions that we could talk about for the 20 minute in those bonus podcasts. Yep. And if you're not a part of that experience and want to be, get on the Patreon. Boom. Yep. So, yes. 
perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah, nailed it. Send us some questions and nail. Uh, and that. then we'll talk about. It. Maybe yeah. you'll send something that like uh, might take us down Teary Lane. We don't yeah. know. It could be like, so yeah. how did you feel when your parents got divorced? Well, and we'll be like, whoa, that's a we're all, question. And then we're all hard, <laughs> ugly crying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. The camera gets lower and goes up. Just yeah. the war, everything the worst. Yeah. You could Hannibal Lecter us on Patreon. You won't even know you're. You know, they could fuck our whole lives up. <laughs> Never know. So ask some questions. Take control of us. <laughs> Sounds like a fetish. <laughs> Dominate us. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a funny, you know, like those uh, porn stars who do those, like, they do single. No. Uh, if you, it's like their version of Patreon. Oh, OnlyFans. Uh, oh, fans only. OnlyFans. Is it oh, OnlyFans? OnlyFans. He was quick to that. I didn't yeah, know that. Okay. Who are you? Yeah, that's, that's, we should do you know, I read about it. <laughs> OnlyFans, and it's just only... us playing with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or teasing them the whole time. Yeah. At this point, my Take wife would be off. like, "Whatever pays the fucking bills, honey. Get I mean, it done. Yeah. Say it. Get it fucking done. Give it a shot." Bugsy's in the background, just stops and looks at you as you're taking a sock off slowly. And you're like, "Ooh, touch my big toe. Is yeah. this what you want? Is that what you want?" <laughs> get out of here, Bugsy. Ew. Daddy's touching his no, toes. It's hot as fucking. I told you I it was gonna get hot. No, I'm. And I, the we seat. don't have this open because we because I don't like the way I. <laughs> fucking look when the light's on my look. face i don't want you people to see what i really look like just oh no, it's not that though that's a, you look like a meteor just happened we got the first blast right and it got to you first yeah yeah we're just <laughs> we're seeing the big blast yeah. <laughs> that's and we're yeah. staring at all of a sudden <laughs> yeah that t2 shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, yeah we did the uh we talk about angles on the weekly vlog for patreon by the way oh yeah we went off on will yeah. and that's a lot of behind the scenes shit you know the stuff you'd see uh in any you know movie, any movie when they do behind the scenes footage of what's happening behind the scenes, uh, bloopers of our lives, you could see my house, I guess. Bloopers you know, of our you lives. You could see us yell at Will about me and Jason's body dysmorphia and taking it out on Will. The you usual, because Will's built like a per, fucking hey, figure skater. Per year. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. What We're do figure skater bodies look bodies look it's like? It's great. Little like your brother, basically. Stand up. Yeah. Nah, it's good. Dude. You're thin. You got a nice Euro body. That's what a figure skater is. You got a body. good ass. I wish know? I had a good ass. You don't have an ass. So that's the only thing that keeps them away. Do you not have one? Not really. I've never had one. I've never had one. Never. It, and I yeah. always thought I couldn't get one, but my little brother has one from all the years of figure skating. So really, it was just, oh. I didn't work at an ass. Huh. Well, you don't work at yeah. an ass when you're a kid. What do you, you want to work yeah, out? Right. You work out the chest and the chest shoulders. And the arms. Oh, yeah, yeah, only glamour muscles. Biceps, we, we chest, all, and chest. And we done. all worked out our left arm more so that when we were cruising in our car, you could nice. throw that oh, tricep cool. out the fucking, yeah, and then like doing like this. What's up? You know, I'll get the, oh, that's the little line. Yeah, man. Fuck, man. That's a good idea. In our low riders. I was always 10 and 2 with the windows up. <laughs> and no music. I didn't want to be distracted. <laughs> Yo, a buddy that I grew up with yeah. spent so much money on this amazing sound system in his car he always had the nicest cars and he got this um and we all so were like back in that back when i was a kid that that was the shit booming sound systems cruising in your car yeah that yeah. was the thing nice. my buddy got a brand new car custom wheels unbelievable sound system and would never play it really he was so no 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 no, no turn it down like so anal about why it. Wait, what was he worried about i don't know I Pops think probably no up. things you should be normal about, because you would get ticketed back then for your sound, your system really? being too loud. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Wow! Oh yeah! We and it was the the more bass in your sound. Yeah. I mean, there was a rap song by uh, these um, these two girls, Tigra and Bunny, back in the day. Tigra. We like the cars, the cars that go boom. We're Tigra and Bunny, and we like the boom. And that's what the song was about. Yeah. Really? That's kind I of had a, though. I had a such a I had an amazing sound system in this one car that I had and then uh it got uh, I got a knock at the door from the police. And they're like, "Uh, is that black car yours?" I'm like, "Uh-huh." He's like, "You might want to come outside." Everything gone. Ugh. Oh, Everything you got gone. robbed. Robbed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Like if you had it on back when I was in high school, that was a big thing too. You put it in the back of your Acura, your yeah. Civic. And it was a box. Yeah. yeah. Just twelve to fifteen Sub inch woofers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you had fifteens, yeah. you were like, Oh, we're gonna fuck up some of your drums. Today. Yeah. <laughs> and I would either have I never had them. Uh that was never gonna happen. My dad was like, <laughs> no. Well, let me tell you how my dad was. <laughs> yeah. He let me he let me put a fifteen inch subwoofer in the trunk of his car. Oh wow! So that when I used it, I could. Whoa! Yeah, it's kind of cool. 
Yeah, it was really cool. That is kind of fucking cool. That was not going to happen with me. And guess what kind of speaker it was? <laughs> so 80s and so hood. It was a house speaker. Oh, what? It wasn't even four cars. It was uh, it was like a living room 15-inch oh, wow. house speaker. Wow. That's funny. Subwoofer that we you put in the car. You have the two ha- home speakers just in the corners of your car. Mm-hmm. Fucking. Yeah, yeah. You could never hear the song when you're in the car, by the way. And it, it was with crazy. the bass, yeah. <laughs> you could totally. have a you could have a piece of shit back then. Mm. But if your system was like I used to, I had this friend named Jimmy Mata, Jimmy Mata, and he had Did the he junkiest Toyota Celica, just beat up. Oh yeah. But it had the dopest system in it. So I'd like let me use your car, and because of the sound system, I thought I was in the. Coolest car in the fucking world. And it was right right when the Beastie Boys uh, License to Ill album came out. Mm. And literally every single track was that big 808 kick drum, you know? Uh, oh, it was the shit. Let me ask you a question. Where like uh, where I grew up, there was one uh, strip called the Berlin Turnpike. And that's where you would cruise with your sound system yeah. in your car. What was it in Long Beach? In Long Beach, there was a, there was a, there was a, you've been down there with me before. There's an area in Belmont Shore called uh-huh. Second Street, which was a little cruising spot. Is that where all those bars and shit is? Yep. And then wow, downtown man. where Harvell's is, is a street called Pine Avenue. That was a cruising spot. But then we would also go into L.A., Whittier Boulevard. Historically, Whittier Boulevard, historically, is the cruising spot. for Really? Like nice cars, low riders, all that stuff. It's, yeah, Whittier Boulevard. Yeah, because it couldn't be the PCH, right? Because that's like a no, highway. You're no, just you going, can't be the PCH. You're going... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I was listening to... Yeah. That girl but no, this was like... Whittier Boulevard, it was dope because it was like sound systems. And then there was clubs. Like there was... There was low riders, like on hydraulics, and then oh, there was wow. like Volkswagen Bug clubs, and it was it was. And there were chicks. Oh man, it was See? crazy. And the better the better your system was, and the cooler your car was, the more chance of that chick getting in your ride with you. See, and by the way, we didn't really have that because you couldn't have like a convertible, you know, when you cruise yes. on the pike because it'd be it, dirty one yeah. day, and so you just have Brendan and his goddamn puffy ass fleece, you know, just <laughs> shiking ice off his fucking thing outside of Krispy Kreme. We're going cruising. And I'm like, we can't even see if there's a girl in the other car because everybody's windows fogged up from the heat on. I, was just, I can picture you looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's that? Do we know her? And then cut to your fucking Whittier. Mom? Oh, Whittier. Yeah. And then at some point, everybody would listen to the same radio station. Oh, that's good. So the... It's just everybody listening yeah. to like that wasn't happening on the Berlin shit. Turnpike. Yeah. And then there was a air, there was a spot down in Orange County, uh, uh, Balboa Island, in Laguna Beach, I believe it's Laguna Beach or Newport. Balboa Island was a cruising spot where you would cruise down through, around the island and back. It was pretty dope. Let me ask you another question now, because I is this like the the show The OC, where uh, Ryan comes from one part of Orange County that wasn't that good, you know, like which would probably be Garden Grove or. Mm-hmm. But like, did people? If you yeah. went to Laguna, which is notorious, like it just looks like a really rich place. Oh. Just, and when you're cruising, would it be like you and Carlos and yeah. Fernando and your oh, brother yeah. being like, let's go we see always, the rich girls? And we always wanted to go in like Fernando's car because Nando had a 1962 oh, nice. Mercury Comet, baby blue with the white top, Ooh. so dope with the system in it. And um, then you go find rich girls. Then we go, yeah. <laughs> well, cool. I have an. There was a. Every every school I, I feel like had a hot teacher. Yeah. Yeah. At my high school, there was this teacher. She I don't remember what class she taught, but she also coached the cheerleaders. Oof. And everybody kind of thought she was hot. And there was rumors that some of the football players were sleeping with her. Oh, wow. So one night we're in Balboa and we're cruising. And there's this beautiful fucking slant-nosed Porsche Turbo. Mm. And there's this hot girl like on the hood of it with the guy. And she's in this little tiny. And as we get closer, it's that teacher. Oh. Yeah. I mean, once again. And we were just like, oh. oh. Yeah. Your life. Sounds like an 80s movie. It, it this was. is all 80s it movie was. shit. Sounds like it was. Yeah. <laughs> 80s movies were written about That's what was true. going on I mean, at the it's time. That's exactly what it was. You know? Yeah, fuck. It's Didn't true. That shit. And I had that classic high school. You know, the high school that I went to. Well, you know, I told you. Yeah, they shot American Pie. American Pie was shot yeah. there and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, um, I'm sweating underneath Mr. Rogers. Did you ever cruise? Well, no. no, no, I no. Just, he was I, afraid. Yeah. He was afraid to cruise. <laughs> Jason's got it. He was afraid to cruise. <laughs> he was afraid. Hey, can we get, can we slow down, guys? Can we slow down? Yeah, We're going whoa, four, Will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going four. Can you, can you turn Drake up and just slow down? <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'm cool. Don't let any girls in. There's no room. Yeah, yeah. Guys only. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yes, Mommy please. said I couldn't. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> you know, for a while, was when, when we were in high school and they would, uh, we would like, we were all just smoking weed. We thought we were so cool. They would, I would make me the, dr- uh, the driver and they would always just try to, they would always try to fuck with me as I was driving. Well, 
I was, yeah, that's well, what I was it was. Pretty, I mean, I was, they, I was they, high when I was driving too, but they were just like, "You do it." Yeah. Don't listen, mom. And they were, "Yeah, sorry, mom. It's yeah, it's fine." It happened. He survived. And they and we they would always fuck with me. They would they would there would be a curb, and they would just they'd be giving me directions to like the movies, and they'd be like, "Turn," and I'd be like, "And turn right." And I'll go, "Okay." And there's just a curb. Get like, yeah, me every. I was like, "Oh, so, I love so, that you just blindly followed their instructions." Yeah, because no, I was out of my. I was like, "What?" I was like, "I don't know, whatever." Nope, yeah, not even checking okay. lanes, just yeah, looking okay, forward. Okay. And then we were just dying laughing. Almost we'll crashing. pay for the drinks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Popcorn oh, Will. Man. Who doesn't get popcorn, Will? Will, go get popcorn. That was my nickname, Popcorn Will. Popcorn Will. Popcorn Will. <laughs> get in, guys. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> you guys want to do some emails? Yeah, sure. sure. Let's do it. Um, all right. This first one is from a Patreon Mufasa member. Hell What's yes. happening? The, the ride or die. Uh, this is Mary Monticino. Um, that's haunted. Uh, my name is Mar- Mary Monticino. Um, she's excited to hear the pronunciation. Well, Mary Monticino. It it's Reminds Italian. Reminds me of that, that the character in Greece. There was a... These references are going over my head today. Sorry. I've got to be okay. honest. No, no, no. I, which, one of Monticino. her friends. Yeah. Mary Monticino with, with Barbara Baccalelli. Okay. You know, and so what uh, Rizzo Fazzini. <laughs> um, Making me hungry. No, I, I started <laughs> thinking about risotto when Jeez. I said Rizzo. Uh, just wanted to say thanks for making my quarantine better with laughter and you're wonderful welcome. discussion topics. I Like you said, you're welcome before the end of it. It's just like, no matter what so you're welcome. score, you're, you're welcome. fucking welcome. You're welcome. Uh, once you begin to tour again, hope you can make it to Kansas City. We will. We'll, we'll love to. Ooh. Kansas City. Uh, Kansas there. City. Yeah, I was about to say, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. Um, <laughs> So this is serious and sort of not so serious questions, which we like. Uh, not so serious, serious question. Uh, what do you like to drink? Not uh, you, so you, serious. You question? sent the SOS for booze in the last podcast. I don't know what that totally means, but yeah, what are our what favorite do I drinks? Like? What's your fave, B? Oh, I'm a I'm a brown liquor guy. I'm I'm a bourbon boy, but uh, you know, a, a nice wild turkey 101 proof. Yeah. That that's smooth for me. Mm-hmm. I like that type of shit. You know, or a good scotch with a cigar. I, mm. I, I like to stay to the browns. Nice. I'll I'll have a brown every once in a while with a cigar, but when I'm yeah. just having a drink, skinny bitch, that's my drink. You guys know what that is, skinny bitch, yep. vodka soda. Yep. I'm Usually you. Tito's is my brand of choice. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I also like Brent likes to say I am a, like a mother in a ski lodge, and I love a Bailey's on the rocks. I Which is a, a good thing, the by the way. Yeah. It's a and good thing that you have a low tolerance, and that you'll yeah. have that because you were never a big drinker. No. So your liver is going. Your Thank liver you. is younger than mine. So it's <laughs> so it's a good thing. My liver is visiting. <laughs> My liver is visiting your liver in the old folks' home. Yeah, Got, yeah, burned yeah, him. He's, Took he's him seen in. shit. My liver's telling your liver, you you haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, <laughs> the way she Amarula, that makes me feel Amarula, she- by the way, is like Bailey's. I got I got into that when I was in South Africa, and oh, Russ sucks. Peters was like, "Yo, you like Bailey's? You love this." And it's just called Amarula, and it's Amarula on the rocks, and it's really, really fucking good. And Burn, I also feel yeah. like that was something. Uh, that she was bringing up kind of in a secret way to send us booze. So I also was going to say I love Casamigos, a nice tequila yeah. with two limes. That's oh. kind of my favorite. Like if I'm out during the day, like if I'm at some kind of beach party or something, that because nice. brown liquor when it's 110 is it's a little that. tough. Yeah, is is that, that your tequila brand? That's your favorite? What is it? Casamigos. Yeah. yeah I'm a Patron. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. Patron. Uh, Patron. Uh, yeah. I would say Tito's or Tito's and soda or uh, Wild Turkey. After I got that bottle of Wild Turkey, I was like, oh, this is my new favorite because nice. I did Bullet for a while. Yeah. But, but Wild Turkey is cheaper and it's kind of it's also stronger, so you Much get stronger. more for your money. So it's 100% yeah, Wild stronger. Turkey's great. I had an interesting experience with Wild Turkey one mm. night. Brent warned me too. He's like, uh, Jason. Oh, Maybe yeah. don't drink that. Don't and I went, shot. shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and you drink, you drink fast, by and the I way. And I just downed it. You always drink f- real quick. N- cut to on stage in the OR being a At the dick. Comedy, comedy store. In the original room at the comedy store, mad because I was on late, just being an asshole about it. Hey, yeah. don't book me on Saturday night and put me up on <laughs> Sunday fucking morning. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, but, uh, Brent? Were you there? Were you like, eh, no, 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 Jace, Jace. I was outside, but he was, he was like, I'll do a shot of wild turkey. I was done working, and I said, I don't do what, I don't do that shit before I get on stage because it is 101 proof. So it's strong. He did, I said, maybe don't do that before you're set. And he was fine, but then you know, if you're waiting 20 minutes, yeah. then you're not. Yeah. Right. And then you're in that dark room, and you're up at fucking 1 a.m. when all yeah. your friends are outside and they've been done for three hours. And it's I'm going, be annoying. Fuck totally. you. <laughs> Fuck you. Comedy. <laughs> Isn't it refreshing though to yeah. get that out sometimes? That's oh, why yeah. I love the OR. The OR. Every comic who's a paid OR's regular the there has had an explosion there, mm, especially yeah. if you 
started back when we were past. Mm-hmm. Like everybody had their moment in the yeah. sun where they fucking lost do you, do it. Do you all remember that. a good a good story? From I can't say it. it. Oh, okay. I actually can't. Maybe on the Patreon. Yeah. Okay. Because cool. it's actually uh, I, I'm still embarrassed by it. Oh, oh, from you? Yeah. Well, oh, I, cool. I mean, I f- like seeing red snapped. Nice. Okay. So, let's save that. Yeah. yeah I like that. Yeah, I was um, not proud of myself. And everybody then Mary's, else was. Though. I was very proud of you. <laughs> and then Mary's silly question. This is a good one. Uh, choose three things to buy at a grocery store to make the cashier uncomfortable. <laughs> That's funny. Make the cashier yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Shit. Depends for women. First. Depends yeah. for women. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Just That's slide good. them in. Depends for, depends for women. What size are you? Uh, to make them uncomfortable? Everything's so... Like the, the, the hack would be to go to condoms. Yeah. But then what else? Um, I don't know. Three items to make them Depends uncomfortable. for women. Okay, that's one. A, 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 from the toy aisle, a bottle of bubbles. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's funny. And then, uh, uh, I don't know. What would the third one be? I don't know. That's funny, though. Mm. Uh, I slide the depends towards her for her to beep it, and I go, I'm not usually a hat guy, but... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I was thinking really hard. Uh <laughs> Lube. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> just good start. A, a decent, good sized bottle of lube. Yep. Green hair dye. Obviously, nice. Uh, Obviously, limp. Like for girls, like green sore. hair dye, like the ones that okay. like all the TikTok kids are doing. Nice. And then uh, oh, the third one, um, one humongous lollipop. <laughs> that the one of the rainbow colorful ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's great. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's great. Oh man. Yeah, I'd say like. Gas can, shovel, and matches. I know, <laughs> That's right? A good one too. And a tarp. <laughs> we're gonna think of eighteen of these when yeah. we get off. Now she's yeah, right. gonna. We're so ADD. This is gonna be in our yeah, heads yeah, yeah. all day. Going. That's another. Are you thing. thinking of some? Yeah, I was trying to think. I think I do. First of all, I just do a bike, like a full bike, like a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. like or why? Have to walk or how up. some show, or some markets have patio furniture for some oh, fucking. Yeah, reason. yeah, 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 yeah. Get this umbrella. There you yeah, go. I'll do the a full bike. Yeah, yeah. Condoms, and like, like, pretzel sticks. <laughs> and I'd be like, what the fuck is about to happen right now? Something a like that. A picnic? The coolest picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a really dope picnic. That's, that's a good do. question. I'm, I'm funny question. question. Yeah, that's, that's a really good, good question. Thanks, Thanks Mary. Mary Marachino. She's a ride or die, too. Am anal anal that? Fisher medicine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> just hemorrhoid cream. Fuck a it. bottle of anal ease. There you go. <laughs> Acne cream. Anal there you go. ease? <laughs> And nail polish. Just proactive. <laughs> and then I want to say when I'm when she looks at me, I want to smile confidently and go like, I have a date. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me let me pick another one here. Uh, Sweating through my ass. Oh, here's a good uh, here's a good uh, here's a good follow up sort of dating and quarantine question. Oh, okay. oh, or can we, we kind of talked about that a little bit. This is from Emily Fury. Uh, nice we've name. we've had her on before. Um, I am. So it's just, uh, thanks so much for uh, reading my email. I just about passed out when I first heard Will mispronounce my name. <laughs> uh, I sincerely, keep doing it. I sincerely appreciate all your advice and wholeheartedly yeah. accept your challenge to get out there and perform. Oh, this is the girl who wanted to go do stand-up. Yes. Uh, That's who this is. Mm-hmm. That's, by yeah. the way, real quick. I've been thinking about them a lot during the quarantine. Mm. People that just decided to, you know what? Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to do it. And then the Lord says, no, nah, you're <laughs> not. <laughs> Yeah. And the universe goes, fucking change your dream. Yeah. Hey, guess what? All you other Jasons and Brent. Yeah. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Done. Um, I will 100% send a follow-up email once I'm able to sign up and perform at open, open mic. Good. That'd be As great. Should. I know the punchline does one every now and then, so I'll keep an eye out and trying to so where is write she? material. Uh, I want to say maybe Atlanta, but I don't, I can't remember. Or I think it's San Francisco, maybe. It's not Philly punchline? It's not Philly? Oh, it could be. I actually have no way of remembering this. I don't know why I acted yeah, like yeah, I remember. Yeah, I do remember her, though. Decent um, acting, though. Thanks. That was really good. Hey. Thanks. Nice. Um, all right. I have made my mom and sister members of Alliance Pride by showing them episodes on YouTube. Uh, my mom thinks Will looks like Adam Levine without the tattoos. We all agree that Will is adorable. <laughs> oh, that's why you picked that one. No, the, the, next, the next smug part. ass face. Oh, and lean you. when you said that and we all look see that's what i'm talking about i look like adam levine <laughs> the fucker wants more fucking camera time because people no, are, no i look like adam levine all right. oh, i also oh I, do we have your permission will also i forget which episode Sorry, you guys adam. were yeah we're talking about dating in quarantine Fuck. slash being very horny right now and brent how oh how oh that's brent funny. is coroni lonely 
That's funny. Crony Lonely. Crony Lonely is funny. Shit, um, did come up with that? I've been dating a guy Good for about job, a month Emily. now, and we were supposed to meet in person right as everything was shutting down and decided to FaceTime instead. We've so been FaceTiming dating. every week since then and That's have plans dating. to meet in person ASAP, so it's definitely okay. possible to cultivate a relationship with not the right person even dating. under the current circumstances. Not dating. Thoughts? Not dating. Not dating. Not dating. Not dating. Not dating. They've never met? Uh, I guess supposed person, to meet someone. I think. That's kind of like the miracle of FaceTime, I guess. I guess you're kind of meeting each other, but nothing's... You at least get a personality test out of the way. nothing like the real thing, baby. But anybody in FaceTime can do this shit. Yeah, right? You know? Right? Yeah. You make yourself I don't know. It could work. You want. I guess. I what, so is she, was she have a question? What's the question? I, that was just, I think it was just like, she's at just following up with like, okay. I'm dating in quarantine. She's right. She's right. It's just hard that I didn't meet anybody before quarantine. That's why I talked to you guys about it. Right. There's right. really nobody to build something with. Right. And, uh... Uh, also, yeah, that's the other problem with the FaceTime dating thing is it's great, I think, for personality building and you get an idea of somebody yeah. looks like, but at the same time, they think you look like Adam Levine and you don't, so that's going to be all. a disappointment. Until you see him in they, person. Yeah. Wah, wah. I'm 5'2". You yeah, know, like... Mine is Will. <laughs> my head's the size of my torso. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck, he's got Smooth Ben Affleck and Adam Levine. Um, and here's, here's a good one. Oh, thanks, Emily. Fuck, thanks, Emily. Suits. Thank you, Emily. Um, this is from Juan Valenzuela. Valenzuela. From Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Uh, Valenzuela. First off, I want to say thank you guys for helping me get through this pandemic. All right, Welcome. I'm going to start. I'm going to get right to it. Uh, he's a ma maintenance worker at the uh, U.S. Postal Service. Oh, wow. Great. Very cool. By the way, shout out to the Postal Service. Yeah. And, to my, and to my Uncle Derwood, too. Oh, yeah. Killer there. in the Postal Service. Um, uh, so there's a question for Jason and all of you. Uh, Jason, I have been in martial arts since I was a child, and I've always been interested in hearing about your martial arts background and your martial arts school. Also, what's it like uh, starting your stand-up career later in life? I'm 28 years old, and I've always dreamed of pursuing stand-up, but I've never been able to get myself on stage. Um, and then the second part is, question for everyone, how do you guys go? Uh, let's, let's wait. Let's just answer that one first. Cause it's yeah. Okay, much. what's the question about martial um, arts? Well, he's just curious about your martial arts background. Here's uh, the which background. we've kind of already... Yeah, I don't know how much we've yeah, talked about. Yeah, here's the background. But, yeah. I talked to him about about a little bit. Here's the background. I started st I started taking martial arts classes at 12 years old. I got my first black belt at 16. Got my second degree black belt at 18. Third degree at 21. And at 21, my father, who was also a black belt, my brother, who was always a degree heavy, uh, higher than me, who's now a seventh degree black belt, the three of us decided to open a school in 1992. We we opened our first Kempo Karate school. Then shortly thereafter, we integrated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu into that because I started studying with the Gracie brothers. I started studying with Hoyce Gracie in Torrance, California, and I did that for s s several years. My brother, my brother continued with the martial arts to this day. Uh, when I was forty-ish, when I was forty, I sold my I sold my school when I was forty years old to, to do stand stand up full time. I started stand up at thirty-five. Wow. Yeah. yeah so, so I was a little older than forty when I sold it. So I. For the first five to seven years of doing stand-up, I still owned the martial arts school because that was putting food on the table. But I had sustained some in injuries that, you know, take longer to heal as you get older. And I was trying to figure out what th – there has to be a plan B. And I've always had a love for stand-up, and I'm really good at it. And so I started doing stand-up at 35. Uh, and luckily, it just – things kind of picked up quickly. Yeah, because his question, so he's, he's 28, and I think he's you're, a little you're, bit worried about starting to stand up late. You're not That's not late, late at all. You're not standing late at 20. You're not starting late at 28. I started at 35. Yeah. There you go. And that's technically yeah. not even late for stand up. No. Yeah. And so yeah. he's so he's kind of he wants to do it. He just hasn't. But been you able just got to gotta do it. You guys know that Bill Withers, who just recently passed away, ain't oh, no I sunshine think. when she's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that he didn't start his music career until he was in his mid 30s. There you go. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. And that's much harder. He was installing toilets in military airplanes. Wow. Whoa. And, but he was a singer songwriter, and so huh. he told him like, "Why don't you just do something with this?" And at in his mid 30s and I think it was about 35 years old he decided to, and, and he started his career but at, as you get older you 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 uh, you have your own voice you're, yeah. you're you're learning who you are as a person and that helped that helped me that helped my career fast track yep. oh, because yeah. I didn't have to waste a bunch of time trying to find my voice mm -hmm. yeah definitely like and, me and, and apparently Bill Withers the same thing he, his career took off really fast yeah and he said question for everyone how do you guys go about writing a set for stand up and, uh, and stand up ready for it to be performed on stage you do it yeah you never you know do it's it. ready you, you never know it's ready until you bring it on stage my and I believe it's Brent's process and Will's as well as I do a, most of my writing, if not all of my writing on stage. Mm -hmm. I think of the thing in my day to day. I, I observe. I think it's funny. I, I find my, my angle on it. And then I, I will literally talk about it that night on stage yeah. and try to form it because you don't know how it's going to work in front of a live audience until you do it. When I see people memorizing their stand up like a script, 
Mm. I go, oh, that's scary because you don't know what the hell's going to happen with an audience. You don't yeah. know when you're going to have to pause. You don't know if somebody's going to yell out. You don't know. W- you got to read the room. So um, the best way to prepare it for the stage is to get on stage and do it. Don't think it's going to be great. Don't think you're going to be great at it the first time, but get on stage and say it into a microphone in front of people. And then you remember it and you remember the things that worked, the things that didn't. Yep. You push it to the limit, you know, you do something for 11 minutes when it's really a three minute bit. Yep. And then you bring it back. And then what it's, they call trimming the fat. Yeah, trimming a lot of it in my yeah. career. But then, uh, <laughs> and also, yeah, anything you think this is killer and you're excited, you're nervous, you're going to be scared and nervous and amped and anxious to do it. And guess what? It's not going to work. Yeah. And that's going to be the most shocking thing. You right. just got to get through it. It's years and years of that shit. But it's also the other thing. I mean, maybe if you're a TikTok star or some bullshit, maybe you could be selling out the fucking improv one day. But uh, yeah. so bitter. Doing a dance. But um, so but if you real. think it's going to, I'm, I'm going to start at 28 and at 30, I'm going to have a sitcom. It's not going to work out that way. Yeah. Like, you got to really love it. I've also found that like when you're writing stuff and doing it on stage, um, is that you? The more you do it, like the more you realize, oh, this will be, this will work. Oh, that's like true at the too. beginning, yeah. you just you have find no ways to fucking idea, but then later you're like, oh, this will probably work. Yeah. Right. And you know then, what I mean? And then you just make little discoveries, like I didn't think that part was going to yeah. get that big of a yeah. laugh. That was just the setup for that thing. And I feel like and I don't know how crowds are in San Diego, but in the rest <laughs> of the world, <laughs> I definitely think though the more you do it, you're like, oh, like you won't like eat shit. Like, oh, this will work. Like, this will work okay, at least. You know, it's yeah. that, like type of a thing. It's like, repetition. Like, yeah. It's just when you start, yeah. you know things that are going to work, and then you know things mm-hmm. that are like, you go, okay, I got this new idea. I know I'll get a laugh, but it doesn't mean it's good yet. Yeah. Whereas opposed to before, it used to be like, this is going to change my life, and then no one laughs, and they think you're terrible. <laughs> right. Where you have, that's where you had no yeah. idea where it goes. Yeah. Um, cool. Thanks, Juan. Do good it, luck. Juan. Yeah, go, good luck do with it, it, buddy. Do it and write us after. We got to challenge people to do, do that. And gonna, you, where is he? Tucson. Tucson. Arizona. It's a billion Arizona's places to go. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. in a great comedy yeah. place. It's great. Yeah. Um, and we are to follow up from our, our boy Zion Viega. Zion. Yeah, Zion. Uh, All right. Our Australian mate, right? Yep. yep. So we were kind of basically, we left him like, hey, man, what's your fucking deal? Yeah. Like, write us right. in. Who are you, basically? He didn't give us too much, but this is what he oh, said. Oh, he's, he's a ser- serial killer. Yeah. Serial killer. Uh, um, he said. He Assassin. Just, so he said, uh, I wrote in before and y'all requested to know more about the Australian guy with the name of a Matrix character. There so it's go. Zion Viega here following up. I'm just a normal, non-famous 30-year-old guy who grew up homeschooled with his siblings. If you're wondering about my name, obviously we are, back in the late 80s, my parents were members of a Texas church cult that got into a shootout with the FBI and a bunch of cult members died in a fiery explosion. Wait. I won't bore you with the details. Hey, Um, bore us. That's that's not bore. That sounds like Waco. That's that's Waco. Were they they Branch Davidians? That's crazy. That's all I know. The shootout in Texas is Waco, right? Yeah. Did they say, did he say Texas? Yes. That's... Yeah, I just watched it. There's a new series on Netflix about yeah, just, it called Waco. Out, right? it's, it's David Koresh had this, uh, this, uh, you know, they had this religion, religious cult that he that he was the leader of, and he was he was the Messiah, and he uh, they 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 tried to spin it to where they they killed themselves, but it, there was a huge shootout with the ATF. Uh, the ATF was in the wrong. They started it. It didn't have to go down that way. A bunch of fucking innocent people got killed and burned to death. It was crazy. However, Koresh was a nut. He was like taking in, taking multiple wives, sleeping with underage girls. Mm-hmm. They were stockpiling weapons. They had enough weapons to like take over a small country. But yeah, ATF went in there and raided the place and ended up getting in a crazy. It was like over a month. It was like fifty something day standoff. Yep. Yeah. yeah. If that's the Texas shootout you're talking about. Bro, we aren't bored with the details yeah, at the all. Most Send interesting story. More. Can I? Can I just? Can I play devil's advocate here? Go. Yeah. Part of me feels like he just watched it on Netflix. And Maybe he just us. watched it and was like, you know what? You know, and it's fucking with us. I'm gonna Maybe. reinvent myself. That Australian we would, we humor, know. that Zion humor. Could be, yeah. All right, Zion. Or well, that did happen, and I'm so crazy. sorry for your family's discretion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, nice. all right. So let's do. Uh, I'm gonna fire through a couple shout outs and also people gave us uh reviews on on uh itunes and they sent us it like we oh, asked them great. like funny good there's reviews some, there's, there's so, so yeah nice. if you if you review it on itunes and you leave a funny good review just send it to us because um, we want to read it uh first quick quick shout out um because this is a lion uh mufasa um or a patreon mufasta right or is, uh, jessica flynn and she's from ireland Hey, Jessica Flynn. Oh, so just wanted to shout her out. Ireland. She said, uh, thanks for keeping me sane through this whole thing. Ireland is pretty locked down, and my dog is starting to ignore me. <laughs> oh. Flynn um, or Finn? Flynn. Flynn. Cool. Uh, oh. Podcast only gets better with every episode, and all the extra content is fantastic. Damn proud to be a Mufasa. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. So much. Thanks, We're proud to have you. 
Dying um, to go there. Ireland, right? Yep. Yeah. Nice. And here's some good. Uh, here's some quick good reviews. This is from uh, Jordan Clarkson. This is a another Mufasa oh, member. Yeah, that guy wrote before, and I, I I mentioned a basketball player's name, and every, you guys looked at me like I was crazy because I realized. You guys didn't know what the who the fuck Jordan Clarkson was. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, right. okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. this is his his uh, his review. The subject line Good is Good memory, Brent. Yeah, I, saw I, I don't have. care what everybody says about you. You're smart. <laughs> well, I wouldn't remember. <laughs> this nice. is the uh, the review subject line is Smooth Bully Will back to San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> These are funny. Uh, whether you're from San Diego like Will or from the old Main Street, Connecticut. Uh, you have to listen to this podcast. The bits, the singing, except for Lockjaw Will, and the camaraderie <laughs> is up the best of them. Is up with the best of them. Been listening to this podcast since day one, and I am a member of the Mufasa Pride. This I podcast has brought me so much joy and makes me laugh so hard. Keep doing what ah. you're doing best, except Will. Be best. Love the show and you all. <laughs> That's Dude, thank you, man. Yeah, very cool. That's awesome. Love also, that review. Also, Will, Good just review. side note about the San Diego thing. Does it kind of make you a little, you know, jealous and envious that Jason and I have our names on a historic building up there for stand up, yeah. and we're never there? We're never there. Our never names there. are emblazoned on the side of a, yeah, it's cool. a very rich historically town. Historically famous Historic. building. And every time I go there, I go, oh, man. It's called the Comedy like, oh, Store. Yeah. And I haven't been there in, how long have we not been there? Years. Oh, it's been a while since I've been there. I think you were there with me last time. No, um, the l- second to last and, time. Yeah, and you were super angry. You're like, I fucking live here and my name's not on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, Will. Um, whatever, guys. It's all good. Everything's fine. Um, <laughs> another review here from uh, Devin Sargis uh, from Toronto. Devin Toronto. Sargis. Yeah. Nice name. I mean, it could have for sure. A Canadian. Different, but, uh, this is his review. Uh, this is funny. Best new pod 2020. Dope. Uh, if there was an Emmys category uh, nice. for podcasting, they'd win best new pod. Nice. Relatable and hilarious. It is as advertised. Three idiots sitting around and talking oh. just like we do with our friends. Beautiful. They get better with every episode. If it weren't for these Coroni homies, my time in their Corona zone would be less man- much less manageable. Been oh. a fan of Brent since I randomly saw him at the Laugh Factory in 2015. Nice. He said he was hungover and still killed. Not much has changed. Nice. Loved Undateable and his two Netflix specials. Yeah, and now I'm a big fan over. of both Jason and Will. Cannot <laughs> recommend it enough. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Devin. That's, That's awesome. a good review. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, keep these reviews coming. They're re- some of these are really yeah. funny. I think yeah, I've fed them though. So I'm an idiot. One more. And we have one more from uh, <laughs> Megan Fitzpatrick. Love that name. We got uh, a lot of Irish. Oh, this is yeah. really funny, actually. This is so quick. Um, the subject line is hopeless romantic. And it just says, Hey, Brent, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Nice. That's very yeah. um, cute. Sweet. And, yep, I think that's it. Um, oh, shout out to uh, Tyler Foran for the lines and art with the uh, 1993 uh, comic that he made. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah that was yeah. really yeah. funny. That was we funny, posted yeah. it on our Instagram at the Lines Den Pod if you want to check it out. It's really funny. It's like what we all look like in 1993. Except I didn't have that Bieber bowl cut. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you always I had, had. I had like curly hair. hair. Yeah. Um, oh, 93. I had great hair. Oh man. No, I didn't. I got made fun of for it. Nah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Shit. What did they say about it? Well, I'm trying to remember what 93 was. 93 was when my hair was still kind of like red, or like reddish blonde. I looked like a Chuck naturally. Fillmore. Yeah, because it was it was blonde. And then it wow. got like strawberry blonde, and then it got brown, got and it. then it got gone. But then, then like, got... uh, <laughs> no, it's still there. You can see. <laughs> then it got tired of being here, so it said, "Yeah, I don't think that it. was a good hair year." <laughs> um, we weren't doing haircuts now. Is that it for for emails? Pretty much, yeah. Right. Those um, weren't emails. Those were reviews. We had we had well before reviews that. and emails. Yeah. We had a we have, we have a good we uh, kind of breeze. We we kind we of blazed through tons of emails. With don't talent. We? Yeah, but not all of them are worth. Yeah. yeah. Well, They're well, all wonderful. You're all special people. Well, everybody's um, matter to us just we'll because Will have. is a subliminally sarcastic little shit sometimes. <laughs> Jason, we have a good uh, we have a good DM uh, okay. on our line stand. What does that stand for? Uh, d- d- uh, definitely, maybe. maybe. <laughs> this um, is where this is what it was from the other podcast. We were making fun of DM. I think you asked that before, and then and then. It, it was about doing like the, that's where you said dolphin something. Oh, okay. It has to be DM. Right. Does that make any sense? Wait, to anybody wait, I, I, wait, I'm, wait. But what would you, what was the no 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 no? I part? said uh, we were talking about the doctor. What is a a PT? Oh, PT. Well, that's a different thing. I don't know. I'm confused. No, no, no. That was a different one because that was a okay. clip. There was another one I think was a DM. Don't, don't make me remember things. And but what about the DM where thing? I said? Uh, well, you know, DM. What do you think of DM? It was something, and then we started improvising back and forth. It was like, well, DM. What do you think DM means? It's one of our like, many yeah. moments of Didectress genius. Dedectress tops. I know. It's so fucking it so comes hard. in and out of our minds. It's hard being this fucking talented. Well, this is from Chelsea Giorgio. Good Chelsea Giorgio. Pronounced Chelsea Giorgio. Giorgio. There we go. Uh, Giorgio. I've, Giorgio. I've never slid into anyone's DMs before, but I'm glad Sexy. you guys are my first. Sexy. My boyfriend and I are huge fans of the podcast. Not sexy. I was waiting for you to be like, not sexy anymore. Not sexy. Um, you're keeping us sane while we are sheltering in place in Seattle. 
first Seattle email, I think. Mm. Uh, question for you all. What is your favorite comedy you felt didn't get the credit or praise it deserved when it came out? We love the movie Hot Rod, but I think it's severely Hot underrated. Hot Rod's great. Hot I don't think great. it's underrated. People love Hot Rod. Hot Rod, Rod was hilarious. It's like a cult movie. Yeah. So, so. That's well, hard to say. I don't, I, don't, I don't follow reviews or how movies do. So I, I don't just know. Like maybe a one that's not people are like talking about as much. Like oh, like Step Brothers. Like everybody likes. Like think that's funny. But what's a movie that like I don't know. Like that didn't get the credit it deserved. Well, le- well, that's you a, can argue something. You can argue that um, you know Tommy Boy was a box office disaster. Uh. Black Sheep was a box office disaster. I mean there Happy were all Gilmore. these. Happy Gilmore wasn't that wasn't that prevalent or Billy Madison. But all How these did the movies, wedding singer do. Wedding singer. I don't know. What's did, it about? All those. The did, wedding with, singer with to me Sin- was fucking great. See what happened is is the, we had blockbuster and shit back then. So when a movie like that would open, first off, they critically torn apart any comedy back then, mm-hmm. which is pretty common a these days. Killed. Where everything yeah. is completely fucking torn apart. Right. You know. But uh, if they're asking what, what movie was underrated when it came out, you know, like uh, Hot Rod made no money, but then people f- fell in love with it later. Office Space was a complete disaster. Oh, people Office Space. It later. Yeah. Swingers was a bomb, and then people fell in love with it right. later. Yeah. I think if it's funny and you and you like it, you get into it. King Soul Ping Plane. I watched the other day. King, yeah, Soul Plane was the most bootlegged uh, movie ever yeah. made. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And so that yep. actually tore them apart. And then Kingpin was actually, Woody Harrelson didn't watch it for years because huh. when he saw it for the first time, he hated it. Oh, wow. It's, he, and he, it's hilarious. And it's hilarious. Now he yeah. loves it. But if that's what you mean, that's another one. wedding singer killed. The budget yeah. was yeah. eighteen million, made one hundred and twenty-five million. Oh yeah, oh, wow. Well, Sandler was a huge box office star by yeah. then. By wow. then, yeah, you know, that's wild. And Tommy Boy was really hit right after that and started making some money, but it was torn apart by critics. If you want to watch, if you want to watch ser- a series, maybe in your in your quarantine, if you haven't, of course the the British Office always. Oh yeah, but uh. Um, I just watched. I mean, I can't keep track of this. Track of all this you know shows. what else is a really good movie that I saw in theaters? Well, there's well, a f- I love this guy to begin with, but two movies: The Other Guys with Wahlberg yep. and Will Ferrell. Oh, that was yeah. fucking just funny all the way through. So funny. And uh, Semi Pro, the basketball oh, one he did. Oh my gosh. That one was actually fucking great Flint, too. Yeah. It was yeah. Flint, Michigan. And both of them didn't. Fucker. I got it. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Fucking Boy. light. You got one job to stay on for an hour a day and you can't fucking do it? Stop unscrewing yourself, you lazy light. That's not itself, man. You got ghosts. Stop saying that. You mentioned the fucking ghosts with the goddamn claws on my ceiling. Then you mentioned a guy just coming into your retired cop's house like last week. And then you leave. And And then I'm just here. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to pretend I left and then come around. Oh, that would. And then just haunt you in the house. That would fucking get Whisper in your ear. So funny. Brad. Ugh. No, 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 no. (laughs) No. Why are little girls uh, so but those creepy are good as movies. ghosts? Yeah, that's a good one. Those two, yeah. Uh, for me, it's Spaceballs. Spaceballs. I, I hope that gets the credit, Anything Mel Brooks. Whoa. Oh, me too. Yeah, but Spaceballs was, okay. was huge. Was it? Because I don't. But not a lot of talk about it. Though. But you know Maybe what? Not. Yeah, it was huge. You know what wasn't though? I think it was I Mel Brooks movie called High Anxiety. Oh, I love that. High movie. Anxiety, and it spoofed all the Hitchcock movies. Mm-hmm. Did we talk about funny, that? No, no funny, never really funny it. title. Bro, it's never called High Anxiety. It. It's so funny. I'll look it up. Anything Mel Brooks is so funny. Sometimes his humor is just... It's so childish at points that you're mm. at some points where you're just like, this is so fucking funny. I should watch this. I love Mel Brooks. High Anxiety great. is great. Yeah. Oh, that's a so great one. funny. Anything Mel Brooks, watch that. Yeah. That's true. Anything Mel yeah. Brooks, man. That guy was fucking yeah. great. History of the World. Boy. What's a recent movie, though, that came out that just kind of came and went that was actually funny? That doesn't involve massive oh, huge it. stars. It and it too. Hol- There's a clown. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh fuck! I still can't tell if it. Those movies are really well done and they're scary. But the made-for-TV movie that I watched growing up as a kid, yeah, yeah. maybe because it was I was a kid, yeah. wildly more effective to me and terrifies me way more. Because you were younger. Yeah, it had, I'm just yep. so impressionable. And, they and what's kids. his name? The guy that played the clown, that played Pennywise. He's so freaking good. He was in. Oh yeah. He was uh, in Rocky Horror Picture Show. He's uh, is this the first it? The first the one. it from the nineties. Yeah, I believe in oh, the on TV. What's yeah, his name? God. His name's right on my tongue. He's amazing. He's, he's great. That he's great. clown scared the shit out of me. Yeah, he was the butler in the movie Clue. Watch that as well. Harry Anderson? No, that's he played at one of the kids. Oh, up. the one that he played Pennywise, What's, the clown. Oh, oh, Tim Curry. Tim Curry. He's amazing. That guy was yeah. scary. Man. We all float down here. <laughs> Come here, Georgie. <laughs> Georgie. I stayed away I from sores because I am the eater of, of worlds. And the, and the oh, children. Hey, 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 stop, hey, stop hey, hey. Jay. That's really <laughs> scary. Yeah. Jay, that's too good. Ooh. Fuck, man. You could do every goddamn impression. You're a mimic. <laughs> mimic. 
Mimic, another good movie. Mimic, yeah, that's good. Species, if you just want to, you know, see some beauty. I've been kind yeah. of into the scary thing lately. I had to stop. I just watched a movie called I See You. Helen Hunt is in it. It's on Amazon right now. And it fools you at first. It makes you think, oh, this is about a haunted house. And there's such a cool twist where it's not haunted and there's just some other shit I happening. See you. Yo, it's I so good. That. There's literally two twists. Nice. Yeah, it's so I'll good. watch that. I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's called I See You. Helen Hunt is on Amazon. Got it. Cool. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Look how yeah. much I'm sweating. We're over an hour. I don't want to let's keep. But, how are you guys? not dying? Like that? Oh, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> Okay, right, well, uh, that was fun. Make sure to rate and review and subscribe. Uh, make sure uh, if you want to be a Patreon member, like we said earlier, and you want to be involved in the questions that could absolutely ruin our lives secretly, yes. then set us join up. Us. If you want to see us yell at Will, break down, maybe even teach him how to ride a bike, tours of our our home, and eventually yep. tickets to our shows, then get it on the Patreon. Yo. And other than that, say enjoy your Friday. The rest of it, we'll be back on Monday. Boom. Yep. And uh, yeah, you know. Good job, dude. You think any president or something like ended a speech and just went, I would, yeah, you know. That like, would yeah. be me. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah. And, you know, God bless I guess, America, I guess. And so fucking, I'll see you guys. Right. See you guys later. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. Sir, sir. No, 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 no. That's it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's it. No, no, no. Love you. No. Bye, everyone. We are friends. Digging each other.